how you've tried to instill confidence in Rob Finnessy and um, just uh, like telling him to shoot and being on him about that. Like, wh what else have you done besides um, just getting getting on him to shoot to kind of instill that confidence in him? Well, I mean, shooting is a big part of it, but just leading. You know, I mean, Rob has been through the grind of the Big Ten, and he knows the ins and outs of it, and, you know, he's a senior. So I expect him to to lead. You know what I mean? I I don't have too many players like Rob that's been on this team that that knows the team, you know, and, you know, he can't live in the past. Um you know, I'm just trying to break that pass and say, hey, man, you know, here's the ball. You know, it's okay to go lead. It's okay to be good, man. It really is. Just to stay on Rob, obviously, both he and X could tell, I'm sure, uh, early on that they weren't going to be defended if they were going to shoot. How did they – what did you like about how they approached that? It seemed like Rob kind of took his time and just saw his players with shots and gave it as well. How did you think about how they handled the fact that they were going to get that much time to shoot the ball? Well, I mean, I think it's great. I'm not telling them not to shoot. Right. Um, and Minnesota forced their, you know, our hands in terms of shooting threes tonight, the way they sagged in. And they were just basically saying Trace and Race are not going to beat us. Mm -hmm. And when teams do that, our perimeter guys have got to be ready to step up and make, make shots. And I thought tonight – they did a great job in that area. Coach, when, when teams go five out on you and try to look for dribble drives, is that when you turn to X and Rob and then also at the end of the game also Trey in there? Is that, is that kind of your best defensive lineup? Against well, them? again, I mean, there's not a lot of teams that, you know, when you start playing two small guards, you know, I mean, I got I to gotta utilize my two small guards who both can defend off the dribble. And, uh, you know, Trey, you know, he he defends off the dribble. He got beat a few times tonight. Um, but, hell, a, a lot of us got beat tonight, you know, off the bounce. You know I mean? I thought that was a big part of their offense, and we didn't control it that well. And then when we did, we were really good defensively. Yeah, for as well as you guys shot in the perimeter, that 10-0 run at the end of the game, it was three inside baskets to race. Uh, I think one to, uh, one to Trace. Was that just kind of your bread and butter there at the end of the game, or did you see some mismatches to kind of exploit there in terms of well, how the you guys pulled away? The mismatch, they went small. And so, I mean, if they're going to play us small, we got we to gotta spoon feed the ball, man, inside. And, you know, that's what we did. And, you know, Race had a, a, a really – he had a guard basically guarding him. And he also had battles guarding him too. So I was like, hey, let's just get it inside and – Make them stop us. Yeah, I was going to ask about race. You went to him when you were up nine. You called the 30-second timeout. Is that something you can do because he's not seeing the double like Trace is? Yes. I mean, it, you know, if you're not going to double him, I take my chances with race. You know, he can make plays. He's been working on his low post game. So I'm, I'm good with that if, if teams are going to play us that way. Uh, Matt, just over the uh, just the stat sheet – Shows here Minnesota didn't make a shot in the last three minutes of the game. I guess what did you think of that defensive lineup that you had in? It was just Rob X Trey Trace and Race at the end of the game? I call it winning basketball. You know, when it's not cutting time, you know you got to step up and make plays. I mean, they came back from a t being down as much as ten and took the lead, and and our defense really picked up after that. I mean, we we we. <laughs> We had the laps, and then we started to really pick it back up and play. And then coming down the home stretch those last three, four minutes, we were solid as like we were at the end of the first half. Woody, Xavier's had his ups and downs. Um, have you instilled the confidence in him, or is this something he's done, or is this something you've done for him? You know, to him. Man, I'm trying to give all these guys confidence, but I'm also still trying to coach them too. You know, and and that's a part of coaching. You know, I mean, there's some tough love there. You know, I'm tough on point guards. You know, I've always been that way, man. But, you know, he's still learning, man. He's trying to figure me out. Rob is trying to figure me out, you know. And, and tonight, I thought both of them played extremely well, man, you know, considering all the hollering and screaming I was doing over there. <laughs> Mike, you talked about defense all year long, but did you – 
realize that it is as good as it is right now. It's one of the absolute best in the country. It's one of the best in the Big Ten. And I know that's where you want to be, but did you think that you were going to be there this soon? Well, you never know. I mean, at the beginning, when we started this journey, man, I told them, hey, guys, you know, and this is after I've done my homework from last year in the Big Ten and just in college basketball in general. You know, if you hold teams 60 and under, you're going to give yourself a chance to win a lot of games. And and they they believe that you know I mean and it's it's shown in our play uh, since we've uh, started the journey and we just got to continue to grow and get better in that area. Tom, Mike, uh, perfect at home still, but uh, now you're on the road for two. Uh, the fact that you guys have kind of closed out these last couple games pretty well, are you hoping that that part of that learning experience can help you now going forward to do the same on the road? Yes, we got to break the ice, man, on the road. I think once we break through, man. You know, it'll open up a lot of these guys' hearts to know, you know, that we we here to play and, and compete in the Big Ten. I mean, but you got to win on the road, too. You can't lose at home, but you got to figure out how to win on the road. It was very clear that Minnesota didn't want Trace beating them. So what do you have to say about him being so unselfish and not will, not being willing to force it and kind of dish it out to his guards? Again, I mean, he's got it. It's called trust, man. You know, and, and it's not going to be him every night when teams double team him. There's sometimes he's beating double teams, and and tonight they set, they just packed it in, man. And hey, he made the correct passes coming out of the the double teams, and guys benefited from it by making shots. And that's how we got to play, man. I mean, it's it's not no surprise. I mean, if I'm playing as hell, I'm I'm a double him too and, and get it out of his hands. So that's what teams are doing. And, hey, he was patient. You know, when he had it, he made the play. And when he didn't have it, he sacrificed the ball, which we need. Last question, Justin. Uh, just to go back to X and Rob, I guess, how, um, how well have you seen them kind of get used to the dynamic between them, the roles that they have, the, the splits of the minutes and whatnot, and who comes off the bench and who starts? And how important is that that those guys have just bought into what they're each being asked to do? Again, I mean, Rob, you know, I look at Rob. He never once complained that X was starting going to be the starter. I brought him here from Pitt to start. That was never an issue with him. And for me, being his coach, that means a lot because, again, that means you buying into winning. You know, you're all about team. Everybody can't start. I've always said, man, it ain't who starts, it's who's finished the game. And, you know, hell, he was on the floor at the end of the game making, making a big – you know, contribution to us winning the game tonight. And that's, hey, you can't ask for more. He's, t he's about team.